Sometimes in finance or accounting, you want to do a frequency distribution to see how your sales or costs are distributed depending on different groups. Now we have our information here with our actual dollar sales and let's create a pivot table going into insert and pivot table and let's put it into our existing worksheet in there and press OK. Now from in here we're going to put in our actual dollars in our row labels and then drop it again into the values area. Now from in here we just want to get a count so we'll see how many transactions fall in between a different group. So Let's click in our row label and right click and we need to group here our sales and we have a automatic starting and ending point based on the minimum and maximum amounts. Now we can change that to put in 10,000 and then ending at 100,000 and increments we can have 10 that's fine. Press OK. So we have our sales ranges there and we can see the amount of transactions that we have in the values area there. Now we can put that in a graph by going into options and pivot chart and we can choose a column and press OK. Now just right click there and hide all fill buttons on chart and let's make this a little bit bigger and we can call this frequency distribution of sales. Okay. And then in there, you can just get rid of it. So now we have our graph and we can see the amount of times that we have sales between 10,000 and 19,999. You can see it there. If you hop over there, it's 22. And you've got the different sales groups and we have our frequency distribution in a graph. And you can quickly see which sales ranges are more popular and which sales ranges are not.